Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. VLLM is my go-to library when it comes to serving the large language model at a wider scale for varied number of connections. So for instance, if you're looking to serve your large language model to a wider audience, maybe hundreds of thousands of connections for a low latency in quite a fast and efficient way, I would suggest check out VLLM. It is open source, it is free and it is quite performant and it is evolving quite rapidly. The project is quite active. At the same time, there are various limitations which are quite annoying with VLLM. First and foremost, it only works with few select GPU providers, mainly with modern NVIDIA GPU cards. Secondly, installation is very heavily dependent on some of the torch torch vision and that sort of version so you have to be careful there and by the way i have done various very easy to follow videos to get vllm installed in a very stable way so please search out the channel but one thing which has always been quite i would say pain in the back for me is the support for hugging face transformer library if you have been following my channel you know that I normally install models through Transformers library. I use their uh, simple APIs. I use their pipelines for both tokenizers and the model. And this Transformer library is state-of-the-art machine learning library for PyTorch, TensorFlow, and JAX. You can easily download and train state-of-the-art pre-trained models. It supports text, images, audio, multimodal, and there are a lot of other features which are available in this transformers library so primarily each transformer architecture is defined in a standalone python module in this hugging face transformer library so that they can be easily customized for experiments or deployment now we llm to date didn't support that but now the support is here and in this video i am going to show you how you can easily run or serve the models uh, with the Hugging Face Transformer library, which has been integrated with now VLLM. Now, this is a big deal in my humble opinion, because if you can serve a model on Transformer, which is a consistent architecture, that really becomes quite cool because VLLM is fast, efficient, and Transformers is quite widely adopted. So that is what we are going to check out in this video. So let's get started. For an example, I'm just going to pick up uh, this Llama 3.21 billion model. You can check out various other supported models from VLLM's GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So I'm going to start from the scratch. I'm going to also install the latest version of VLLM. If you're uh, using the older version, just make sure that you upgrade it or just install it from scratch. I also want to thank Mass Compute for sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. I'm going to use my Ubuntu VM and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. I'm starting by creating a virtual environment. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description and I will also drop the link to it in, uh, in the video's description. So let's go back and check what is happening. Okay, so our virtual environment is created. Next up, let's install VLLM with the torch and transformers. And I'm just going to go with the pip command. Let's wait, shouldn't take too long. Okay, so everything is installed. Let me clear the screen. Let me create a simple file app.py and I'm going to open it in VS Code. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you first how to use it with transformers and then I'm going to show you how to use it with VLLM, the same thing. I'm just going to run this and I think I should have opened it in a directory. This is the so much stuff here. Anyway, I'll just check this out. Now, this is a simple code from the transformers library and what is happening here is that we are simply using this transformer so for that make sure you also have this transformers install and while it installs okay it's already there cool 
we are just loading the pipeline of hugging face transformer which takes care of the model tokenizer and all the config and this is a prompt which we are asking and it is going to download it you can also import dot sometime it gives us the error so let's go back and let me clear the screen and run this i'm just going to run this app dot by here and the first time when we run it it is going to download the model on our local system now this example as you can see it's completed and also gave us the answer this is um, good for any simple text generation task where um, scale is not an issue we just want to prototype it and we just want to check it out but this thing is not optimized for high value high volume inference or low latency deployment that is where comes into action our vllm so if we want to do the same thing with vllm we will do this now if you check here what is happening we are inferring with vllm and it is taking a different track where vllm is prioritizing efficiency with features like page attention which is a memory efficient attention mechanism and dynamic batching so if i run this this is going to be faster than the previous one and more importantly if you are serving this model uh, to thousands of requests per second with lower GPU memory, this is going to work. So let me clear this screen and run that Python app.py again. So let's run it. First time it just detects all the devices, the whole configuration, loads the model. And then this code, which we just ran, as you can see in VS Code, that just uh, is going to complete the sentence. So we are doing the same thing with both transformers library and with VLLM. And there you go, that it has directly loaded everything. And if the model is not present, it is going to download it by itself. This is a token per second. As you can see that how good that is. It is concurrent too. And there you go, it has given us the response. Now, this is for just a simple sort of uh, inference where I have shown you how to um, use them interchangeably. If you want to serve this thing to a wider audience, all you need to do is to run something like this, where we are serving this meta llama on our local machine and then um, by using an endpoint, you can simply go and run some inference or you can use Python's API client quite easily. So if you are using Transformers library or something else or any OpenAI compatible endpoint, this is just a drop-in replacement. So VLLM has been initialized and it is serving the model. For instance, you can simply use this command to do the inference there you go the inference is done how good is that and similarly you can use a python code let me also show you that so for python code all you need to do is to just grab your uh, client from openai free client of course this is not uh, using any api uh, from paid openai we are specifying our model with this and then we are calling that endpoint drop in replacement. If I run this, there you go. So you see the prompt was San Francisco is a, it has completed it city that is known for it's beautiful and it is quite fast. And if I quickly show you the VRAM consumption, it is um, close to just over 44 because the whole model is loaded there. I think I also have other models loaded. Now, the thing is that if you are looking to do a low latency inference with higher throughput and you want to scale your model serve, then VLLM is quite a good option in my opinion. But more importantly, the great news is that now we have the Transformers library support integrated into this VLLM. And I believe that is quite a big deal. Let me know your thoughts on it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thank you for watching.